Hey guys, what's up? So today I feel like, why not? Talk about Death Battle. I feel like, yeah, while well, Season 7 is still on the way, I feel like coming back to most of the older seasons of the show. Talking about my personal thoughts on the older seasons. I already covered Season 6 so far, and a bit of Season 7 that happened. But why not just cover the original first two seasons of the show? Um, actually, why not cover Season 1 and Season 2? Now the history of death battle is kind of just basically Ben Singer at the time was however inspired by the sh inspired the but I this is battle series as well as death the warriors that he decided hey I want you to make my own university debate show and the show was born who will win in the first episode. And the original first episode. However, the show was changed when Chad had joined the show. When Chad James joins the show, aka. Second show. Mm Sorry, I was just gonna tell myself. <clears throat> yes, this fight. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, this fight was just the rest of the show's history. So, yeah. So yeah, let's review the first season. First of all, let's go and start with the first episode of the show, pretty much. Boba Fett vs. Samus Aaron at the time's recording were happening. Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi fight in Kakashi. My name is an Obi-Wan Kenobi, by the way. Let's talk about the first original season. Looking back at the season, where the show began. This was the very first episode of the series in general. And let me remind you all back. This is back when in Revolution Tree was still a thing. Yeah, this was kind of back when that happened. And yeah. Yeah. Sorry, just turned on the car. So, oh yeah, right there. So yeah, looking back, yeah, you can see more of cheesiness and more of me. So yeah, and while well, the formula is that very simple, it takes two combatants, analyze them, and their skills, and use science. And and maps who pretty much the 70s and spots in the middle. And wow, I remember back when Netflix was still a was still a newbie at the time. Like, man, I remember how Netflix used to be a small company before becoming huge. By the way, oh, looking back, you're supposed to use the DVDs and doesn't end all the way into streaming and ends up becoming like king. And oh uh, yeah. It looks pretty good. I do really like the animation. It was early times where screw type before they changed their names to death to the show in general and obviously the health bars. 
Yeah, that was just, yeah, that was originally supposed to be health-wise for, like, the next two episodes. It was supposed to be a thing, but ends up removing it. It. And yeah, pretty much was a pretty good opening first battle. And yeah, it was way shorter back then than about six minutes long usually these fights take. It's a nice little... And while there are maybe set... It's a nice little back of some old death battle stuff that we're talking. Really good first episode, and really good, more kind of the, f the fight. Mm -mm. Next up, we got Akuma versus Shang Tsung. Okay, this fight was, I would say, one of the more. I know it was a, it was a pretty good fight. This is the last time they would use the health bar thing before they went. Kind of thing. I was. Ex it was a pretty good fight. I do really like the. Um, yes, everyone's his favorite. Okay. Demon versus everyone's favorite soul eater. Yeah, Akuma wins that fight. I really like the anime. Now, I'm not going to comment too much on the animation since back then they don't really have CG right before. Until a few episodes. Until later. Late into the first. Uh, before. Later in the finale. But it's a pretty good fight. Bro versus Wonder Woman. Yeah, we get to our very first Marvel versus DC fight. Yep, the very first Marvel vs. DC fight. And this is going to be a common trend with that battle, having all, at least a lot of those battles usually. A pretty good fight nonetheless, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not doing much of a fight. Okay, this is going to be one of those. Um, we get to our very first joke battle. Yeah. A very first joke battle. Oh. The very first draw and what well, the very first actually funny but yeah this was a joke battle Goomba versus Koopa yeah really it was meant to be a nice little joke battle really and I started trying to those battles yeah I thought it was alright but not my favorite I'm not really keen on these joke battles I prefer more normal fights rather than something silly and wacky. Oh, so there's some kind of blog post on this, for, but for some reason, I'm probably thinking they got. Either accidentally got deleted or something. And yeah, this was one of the. And really, it's a alright fight, but not my favorite, like I said. I go versus. Okay. Uh, uh, yes. Is that. I go if I can pronounce his name is because he's mostly Russian. Obviously, it's a basically who is the best wrestler. Yeah. Uh, a pretty good fight. A more manlier v manlier fight. More of the first cap console. And SNK a fight, which yeah, which. Having zero one, which this is Capcom's first win, obviously. Yeah. Anyways, we get to one of the first battle royale, one of the few battle royales that that battle ever made. This as well as first death battle they ever made. They also made a second one, stopped for a few years, and came back with that one. Seriously. I kind of, like, it was kind of a bit, what I like to say, lackluster with these death when it comes to these. But yes. Unfortunately, this fight, if you're going to review this via the... This episode... Sorry, I was just checking the versus version was at least. So yeah, 
the TMNT Battle Royale. This is the only top list as was the Pokemon and another. Uh, yeah, so it was the second one and third. Yeah, and style for a few years and times, but you get the point of what I'm saying there. Pretty much a really good fight. Uh, unfortunately, if we're gonna view this via YouTube, this one would be still a bio combo since it's covered by a bio combo. Though, if you're visiting via the Rooster Tea website, it's still available on the Rooster Tea website, by the way. It's available on the Rooster Tea website for those wondering to watch. You don't need to come to watch that. A pretty good death battle, considering uh, mostly one of those that obviously I can see. One of them was their favorite, and that's the same with the death. <sighs> yeah, pretty good fight and whatnot. Next, we get to Ziggs versus Leonardo. Yeah, this is kind of a sort of repeat fight, if you're asking me. Battletoads. And yeah, while Battletoads is getting a remake, which looks cartoonish in mine, and yeah, I get it, it's more for kids in mine. I don't expect it to be more for hardcore people, but yeah, I get the point of what I'm saying. Uh, looks a pretty good, I thought that was also a pretty good fight. It shows that, yeah, it was more on the Leonardo than who the sick guy is. I'm not really a Battletoads guy, I've never played Battletoads in my life. So, yeah, I kind of expected that. Next is one of the shortest fights, Yoshi vs. Raptor. Two gaming's iconic dinosaurs. I enjoyed the fight, by the way. It's... I enjoyed the fight, I thought it was pretty good. A bit short, usually. Not too much happens in this one. Sure, but eh, pretty good fight in general. Yeah, this is pretty nice just shouldn't fight really much in this entire death battle. Next is Felicia versus Tok and Kali uh, and obviously a talk um, well yeah, not too many other uh cat and girl fight. Uh, that wasn't the most insane kitten fight I've ever seen. Uh pretty good fight, not much too special really. I didn't really have much to talk about. It was a pretty good fight. Next is Kratos vs. Spawn. Got anti hero card killing dating's in existence. And speaking of boss Spawn, he's still currently at the top of recording. He surprisingly came back to the video games recently with MK11 with MK11 recently as a DLC character. And when's the second Fighters Pass coming soon? Anywho. Obviously, both Kelly and anti god heroes. A pretty good fight, and I was expecting you or Kratos to win, but surprisingly, Spawn took the victory, really. And you know, next is, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit when it comes to the chill battle when you look at this bag. It's Bomberman vs. Dig Dog. I know they're late platformers and everything. Yeah, and Lamar Lowe's kind of the season one. I wasn't really. Yeah, it was, albeit one of the more shorter episodes, I feel, like, low counting, and yeah, I can see why. I didn't really have much abilities to say, at least. Yeah, that was alright. Vegeta vs. Shadow. Oh, great, this is gonna anger a lot of Shadow fans after reading this episode. But yeah, I also have not too much to say about this episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. It pretty much just goes with who's the better anti-hero of all time. Game. Game, pretty much. We get to Mario vs. Sonic, the 2011 version, not the 100 episode version. Yeah, I'll cover the reason I remember. I already covered the 100 episode in this, but uh, for those, this is the original version of the episode. Yeah, the original version. Oh, yeah, right. I'll cover the 100 episode when we get to that. But yeah, it's a nice little, it's an awesome, pretty good fight. It was mostly more of a fight of who will win in the, of two iconic classic characters fight each other to see who will win. <laughs> and we get to, uh, this was a, well, interesting fight. Fight. 
I skipped the analysis for this one because I just wasn't very really, really. So yeah, Justin Bieber versus Rebecca Black. I know nowadays Justin Bieber isn't the most hated guy and maybe Rebecca Black, but man, uh, yeah, I know this is back in 2011 when Justin Bieber and Rebecca Black were the more hated type character, hated type apes, and this was a mean to be a joke battle really. Hey. Hey. And this is the only time they just use your like people. Not killing any BBX or or Chuck Norris to be honest. Next. Yeah, it was all being more of a joke battle. It was mean to be the joke. So yeah. Anyway, well, let's move on to the actual fight. Luke Skywalker versus is Harry Potter. Obviously, they have a pretty good fight, actually. It's obviously me to be who's the best. Uh, so, uh, Harry Potter, Star Wars versus Harry Potter fight. Obviously, because they're both basically a characters who have. Those are the generation who see the world as an eye. Yeah, pretty much this fight. Yeah, I admit, kind of expected Luke Skywalker pulling this fight because magic had to deal with that and everything and whatnot. Uh, pretty good fight, nothing too much to say really. Next is Chang Wei vs. Maya Shura. Uh, yes, I'm gonna expect the Smash Bros. chips and whatnot. Uh, I know, I'm not gonna do that. I think we already got past those chips already for a bit. Yeah, I didn't know this fight kind of existed until I rewatched this episode. Oh, but yeah, I am going to say it's a pretty good fight. I don't have much to say other than it's a pretty good fight. Next is another joke battle, but I will give this one a little bit of a pass since I really like Transformers and Milo Pony. The, so yeah, Scar Screen versus Rainbow Dash. Obviously, this is another one of those joke battles, and yeah. That's one of those battles that everyone will be a made jokes about. Subject to be a bit of the butt of the jokes, usually. It's, yeah, obviously mean to be a joke. Well, who's the fastest? This character's in existence. Of Hasbro, really. It's kind of weird considering it isn't. Yeah. I know, but yeah, it's the weirdest fight in existence. And yeah, there's got one guy to go watch. So, for. Nice, but yeah, pretty much. A really good fight. Uh, Alright, Joe. Um, pretty good Joe Bell, really. I uh, believe well, this is the only exceptional Joe Bell I really like. Next is Do Master Chief versus Doom Guy. Also, may be the only one to notice that I know this is before they had, before they before Doom Eternal, but now this is before Doom Eternal was a thing. This the thumbnail, the current thumbnail update features the Doom Slayer, and I get this is before they confirmed that. And yes, this is the yes Doom guy was Doom Slayer the whole time. I'm, anyway, I was thinking they were at the time just trying to look for a better thumbnail for this. And with, and I know at the time I would like to see a more remastered fight at least, or something of a remaster, redone fight, eight of Master Chief versus Doom, Doom Guy, mostly with Doom Slayer gear since they're technically the same person. Loosen, but yeah, that's a pretty good one of the more manlier fights. Or manly or fights. Okay, maybe for of who is the better sh Obviously this is be now yes, and Master Chief won that one. I thought it's still a pretty good fight no matter what, though I admit I kinda 
that would like to see a remaster of this fight with basically with the gear from from June 2016 and Eternal since technic since in Doom Eternal they confirmed that the Doom guy is this is the same as the Doom Slayer confirmed in lore by the way. It's a really good fight by the way if you're into basic classic FPS you're just shooting each other. Next, we got to Eggman versus Wily. Yeah, technically, uh, well, since Metal Sonic is still alive, I'm technically going to say, technically, Metal Sonic is still alive, so it's Eggman, by the way. So we're just going with Eggman for now. Ow. Oh, I'm going to call, yeah, this is, it's obviously who's the better mechanic, robot genius. And technically, Metal Sonic is still alive. Technically, Metal Sonic is still alive after this fight, so... Yeah, I'm gonna say this is a win for Eggman, by the way. So, I'm putting a uh, technically Eggman won that fight, pretty much. Much for that fight. Next is Zelda vs. Peach. Obviously, this is meaning to be who's the best princess, Nintendo's best princess. Obviously, I feel this was, this was a pretty good, also a good fight. It obviously goes with the idea that yes, a princess be princess. So yeah, a uh, pretty amazing, a uh, pretty good fight. Thor versus Raiden, obviously Thor wins this one, and obviously since it, it felt a little one-sided a bit considering this, but a uh, pretty good fight. Yeah, I'm just giving true over to these two fights because uh, I don't have much opinion towards in these. Then we get to Link versus Cloud, obviously. So yeah, I would also like to see uh, another revert done version of it, but hey. Uh, Obviously, I thought the fight was pretty amazing. This was one of Death Battles' first CGI Death Battles. Yeah. Oh, no, mm -hmm. The first 3D battle they ever done. This is the first time that Death Battle actually done the 3D battle. And the first. Yeah, this was the very first 3D battle for Death Battle, pretty much. And yeah. Next up is Batman vs. Spider-Man. No, we're not making those jokes, by the way. Hey, I like to be staying positive and whatnot. I really like this fight. And funny thing, originally Batman was supposed to fight Iron Man, but, uh, yeah. When you realize these weapons are failed to be to a guy who literally wears an, uh, a, a huge armory. Wow. That was something. <sighs> Yeah. So yeah, pretty much that. Uh, both characters who had had dead independent superheroes with gadgets who had dead battle remotes and had dead relative. It pretty much fits the old fight actually. And yeah, the winner is is obviously Spider Man because more athletic focus of it and more damaging focus. And we're almost to the end. Next up is Pikachu versus Barat. Oh crap, I'm thinking this is this is the very first Pokemon battle. And yeah, I think there have been a lot of best off Pokemon fans after that fight. I, mean, I watched the final of it. Man, just. How did you feel? I also find the ending spilling a bit of an anticlimactic fight. I just feel it was so more anticlimactic. 
why, and I felt like it just went, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like, almost charged, and, <laughs> Just, yeah. Just, just, just eat the guy, uh, This is just sounds like the most anti- This guy is just like, you are- yeah, in my opinion, I find this fight more anticlimactic at best. Now that was anticlimactic. Ick. And oh boy, for letting the little Pokemon fans on the day. Hey. Man, and then there's a Oh boy, imagine. Yeah, I admit that was a bit too. So yeah, pretty much um, a pretty good fight. And still, I feel albeit the ending was a little anticlimactic in my opinion, but a pretty good fight. Now let's go with the season finale and the highly controversial fight before we had Ben Tangers. If you already had a rematch and another fight to take this more plays. Obviously, this is what I'm referring to is Goku versus Superman. Oh boy, this seat fight was a. Uh, let's just say. a bit rigged. It was a bit of a. let's just say. You know, one of the more highly controversial fights in Death Battle history due to how. How pretty much controversial this fight can be at times. And if you're not a part of the time when this fight came out, yeah. It was one of the more longer fights in the franchise, and it was mostly depicting Goku versus Superman a bit. Man, this was like I said. And yeah, I get the fight, but I still like the fight. I thought the fight was pretty good. The same would have been the reason the fight was pretty good. And I thought it was still a pretty good fight. Oh, even Matsuko X, the guy who did, did the Abridged series, actually voiced Goku in this fight. And also some of the guys as well. Yeah, they actually tease these fights, actually. No aftermatch this time. Yeah, funny thing, there was really supposed to be an aftermatch for this fight. Uh, on the Just Some Running Guys channel, but unfortunately, due to how um, doesn't like it. Oh boy, this fight was a little bit of a controversial fight with Soul Doll. Oh, so we can beat Goku a bit. That's still a pretty good fight, a long fight, although I admit it kind of acts as a little bit of a. Uh, Man, this had a bit of a controversy. Oh boy. Oh boy. But let's uh, be it for today. Join the next time when we cover the second season of the show. But for now, I'm just. So yeah, overall the first season is pretty good. Yeah, I admit the Goku vs Superman fight was kind of the more high, like, controversial highlighted to to the big topics, but you get the point of what this fight was at this. Still looking back, it's not as controversial as uh, just say, okay, you know what, I'm not gonna say it. I thought it was a pretty good fight, but yeah, I can see why people were definitely hating this fight for it was and this is why they end up getting a sequel, but we'll talk about that when we get to that point. Oh wait, it's not too long, we'll get that too. Do I actually get that left now in season 3 or something? Sorry, I really need to check these. 
But we were going to check this guy's prior to these fights. Oh, that's his one. And, yeah. I don't want to say to see this fight anymore. I am going to install a little bit. Never saw that in entirety. And, um, yeah. So, yeah, until next time, when we get to a second season. So, yeah. First season ends up pretty good, but I meant the finale didn't. Did do well. I think I caused a little a way controversy about it. So yeah. So I thought the fight was pretty good. So yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, and see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.